Well, a decision was made by the president today that directly impacts border communities like us. Good Friday evening. I'm Jenny Day. Adonis will be joining us from the fair in just a bit. So yes, today the Biden administration announced an official end to Title 42. It was put back in place under the Trump era and essentially allowed the government to turn people away based on health concerns. In this case, of course, the pandemic. But now next month, that loophole will go away. The Department of Homeland Security says this will allow time to implement COVID mitigation protocols, like the new plan to vaccinate those who are coming across illegally. So now the lifting of these pandemic restrictions is expected to have immediate ramifications. DHS saying tonight that it is preparing for a worst case scenario of up to 18,000 people trying to cross the border daily, a number sure to overwhelm the already full border facilities. Now with the lifting of Title 42, migrants might still be removed if they don't have an asylum claim, but may also be released into the U.S. while they go through their immigration proceedings. Now many Republicans, like Governor Doug Ducey, are opposed and calling the decision gasoline on the fire. Adding, even as we emerge out of the pandemic, this is a no-brainer policy that protects the health and well-being of American citizens, end quote. Naducey added that Customs and Border Protection has encountered more than 800,000 migrants since just this past October. That is more than double the number of the, at this time last year and four times the number from two years ago. Democratic lawmakers, however, in our region have called the policy cruel and want a comprehensive plan in place for people seeking refuge. Well, contract negotiations between teachers in Calexico and the district remain strained. 